sixth grade, module two, lesson seven, problem set. Invert and multiply to divide. So we just get to use the quick method to solve these division problems. So two thirds divided by one fourth. I'm gonna take one fourth and invert it. So we invert the, the divisor, always the divisor, and multiply. So one fourth, if I invert that, I'll have four over one, which gets me eight thirds. Now letter B, two thirds divided by four. So four, if we made that a fraction, is four over one. So if I invert that, it's gonna be one fourth. So two thirds times one fourth would be equal to two twelfths, or we can reduce that to one sixth. Four divided by two thirds. So I'm gonna take four and make it four over one, and then I will multiply by two thirds. I'm gonna flip that and make it three halves. So we get 12 halves, which is equal to six. One third divided by one fourth would become one third times four over one, or four thirds. We can make that one and one third. One eighth divided by three fourths would have one eighth times four thirds, which is four twenty fourths. If we simplified that, we can divide them both by four and we'll get one sixth. Nine fourths divided by six fifths would be nine fourths times five sixths, or forty five twenty fourths. We can divide both of those by three and get 15 eighths. And then you could really turn it into one and seven eighths. And number three, two thirds divided by three fourths, two thirds times four thirds, would get eight ninths. B, three fifths divided by three halves, so it'd be three fifths times two thirds which is six fifteenths, or we could simplify that by dividing them both by three and get two fifths. And then the last one, 22 fourths divided by two fifths. So it's gonna be 22 fourths times five halves, 22 times five, let's do 22 times five, it's 10, carry the one, be 110, eighths and I know I can divide them both by two because they both are even numbers so 110 divided by two would be 55 and eight divided by two is four so 55 fourths you can make that a mixed number if you want to now let's go to here so number four summer used two fifths of her ground beef to make burgers. If she used three fourths pounds of beef, how much beef did she have at first? So let's use the interpretation that says three fourths of three fourths is two fifths of what? So we're gonna have three fourths divided by two fifths, and we can use invert and multiply and just make it three fourths times, take this and make it, invert it, make it five halves, and we multiply. Equals 15 eighths or one and seven eighths. So how much beef did she have at first? She had one and seven eighths pounds at first. And number five, Alistair has five half pound chocolate bars. It takes one and a half pounds of chocolate broken into chunks to make a batch of cookies. How many batches can Alistair make with the chocolate he has on hand? So he has five half pound chocolate bars, which would be five half pounds, or we can just make that five halves. It takes one and a half pounds broken into chunks to make a batch of cookies. So I'm gonna turn this into a m improper fraction, three halves. So what we need to do is take five halves and divide it by 
3 halves. So let's use invert and multiply. 5 halves times invert three, two, 3 halves will become 2 thirds. So we get 10. 2 times 3 is 6, which will be 1 and 4 sixths, or 1 and 2 thirds. But looking back at the question, it says, how many batches can Alistair make with the chocolate he has on hand? So he can make one and two thirds batches, but really that's only one full batch. So Alistair can make one full batch and with two thirds left over. Number six, draw a model that shows two fifths divided by one third. Find the answer as well. First thing I'm going to do is find a common denominator for two-fifths and one-third. So if I list the multiples of five and three, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So there it is, 15. Now let's make two-fifths and two-fifteenths times three times 3 gets us 6 fifteenths and 1 third into fifteenths times 5 will get us 5 fifteenths. So we have 6 fifteenths divided by 5 fifteenths. So now I can draw my model. I'm going to separate it into fifteenths. And we have 6 fifteenths. I'm going to separate them into groups of 5 fifteenths. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's one group, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's another group, but we only have one shaded out of the 5. So it would be equal to 1 and 1 fifth. And if, let's just double check with the invert and multiply method. So 2 fifths times, I'm going to invert this to 3 over 1, would be equal to 6 fifths or 1 and 1 fifth. So that's a good way. You can always check it if you're asked to draw a model with the invert and multiply. And number 7, draw a model that shows 3 fourths divided by 1 half. Find the answer as well. So again, I'm going to find a common denominator for 3 fourths and 1 half. It would be 4, so I can leave 3 fourths alone, and 1 half is equal to 2 fourths. So if I draw my picture, I'm going to have 3 fourths, shade in 3 of them, and divide them into groups of 2 fourths. So there's one group, and then another group, but only hat 1 out of the 2 is shaded. So this would be equal to 1 and a half. We can double check it by doing 3 fourths times, invert that to 2 over 1. We get 6 fourths, or 1 and 2 fourths, which is equal to 1 and a half. So that is correct.